all wireless ALDs pick up the desired signal at its source and then carry it across the room, delivering it directly to your ears, enabling you to hear the signal as loud and as clear as possible, despite the negative effects of room acoustics caused by distance, noise, and reverberation. You can think of ALDs as binoculars for the ears. Just as binoculars magnify a hard-to-see image, ALDs do the same thing with sound. For detailed information on room acoustics and how ALDs can help, read my tutorial on hearing loss and room acoustics. A link is provided in the text version of this tutorial. An easy way to conceptualize how ALDs work is to remember the three C's, catch, carry, couple. As shown here, ALDs catch, or pick up, the sound. They then carry, or transmit, the sound across the room to a receiver coupled to, worn by, the listener. The lower portion of the illustration shows a block diagram of how loop, FM, infrared, and 2.4 gigahertz wireless technologies work. To pick up or catch the sound of interest, all wireless ALDs use either a microphone or a direct electrical connection. For face-to-face -face communication, a microphone is used by the talker to pick up his or her voice so that it can be sent from the ALD transmitter to the receiver worn by the listener. With broadcast media such as TV, pre-recorded music, or movie soundtracks, a better way to accomplish this is to use a direct electrical connection. In other words, the ALD is plugged into audio output jacks of the TV or other sound system. With this method, the electrical sound signal from the media device enters the ALD transmitter directly. AC powered transmitters are a good idea for television and other permanently installed media. Battery powered transmitters are used to hear personal media when on the go. We'll talk more about that later. The transmitter changes the electrical media signal into one of four types of radio waves that wirelessly broadcast or carry the signal of interest throughout the room to a receiver worn on the listener's body. The receiver picks up the radio waves and changes them back into an electrical signal that is then sent to the listener's ears via various coupling arrangements used with or without hearing aids and or implants. Which coupling method is best depends on several factors which will be covered later.